Okay, guys, this is Team Epic Journeys team call, team new coaching call. And tonight we are talking about our brand, how to brand ourselves. But not only that, sometimes we get really scared about inviting people to coaching. But what we need to understand is if we weren't coaches, we wouldn't be getting better with ourselves, right? So there's where we need to break the line and realize that you're not knocking door to door selling, for lack of better things. I mean, I love Girl Scout cookies, but you're not going like, hey, you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? You know, it's like, hey, do you want to change your life? Are you ready to get happy? Are you ready to get healthy? Are you tired of playing the same game that you've been doing for 15 years? That's not selling you guys. We have to break that habit because you're not selling. We are sh sh somebody say it, dear God. Sharing. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. So with that said, get your blank pieces of paper out because we have got to get, we have to get this going. Um, I do suggest that not only you, when you do this, you guys, you come up with some other things and I'm going to tell you the other things that you can think of later on. Tonight, we're going to focus on coaching, but the other categories is take some time before you go to bed. Here's all my reasons why I love Shakeology. You can't read them, but that's a lot. Okay. That is where I get my ideas from because I'm literally sitting down and getting quiet with myself and going, why is Shakeology so important to me? And then I just write. You don't, don't think about it. Just write. Just write, you know? A lot of them can be non-scale things. Like every time I grab my Shakeology, something makes me feel like I'm worth it. I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel like I'm worth it. So that's something that I wrote down of why I love Shakeology, right? So that's one non-scale thing. But another thing for me is it helps me sleep. It's created a better mood for me. So you have to write down what's true for you, not for me but for you, all right? The other categories that you wanna think about, and these are your breeding grounds for material, you guys, are what have the containers taught you? What have the workouts taught you? What has personal development done for you? And tonight, we're gonna focus on what being a coach has done for me, okay? So we're gonna start all of these lists, you can do the rest, but do, we're going to do coaching tonight because I think that's the most important, okay? So tell me when you guys are ready. I'm going to get out my piece of paper and my pen too. And like I said, you guys, this is good because when you're like, uh, I'm stuck, on, I don't know how to do a post. I don't know what to write about coaching. This is where you write personally what's important to you about coaching. So some of these are going to be for all of us, but then some of these you have to make your own because that's part of the branding, right? Like, I like tattoos, right? But if you don't have tattoos and you don't like tattoos, you shouldn't be talking about tattoos. See what I mean? Like, you can't talk about something that's not part of who you are. And then the beauty is you get to be more comfortable with who you are. Oh, isn't that an amazing thing? So that's number one for coaching. I love coaching because it's making me comfortable with who I am. Write that down. Okay. Coaching has made me more comfortable in my own skin. All right. With that said, we're going to go and we're just going to brainstorm. So you guys, what I want you guys to do, we'll just kind of, <clears throat> we'll go around and then I'm going to try, I want to try and find something else too, because these are good ways to um, breadcrumb some stuff. I noticed that when you say like the words, like I remember when, that's a good way to bring people in. Like I remember when I was depressed. You have to remember this in your post, you guys, that first sentence, think about it like this. You're scrolling through Facebook, right? This is what you're doing, right? How many seconds do you literally have to catch somebody's attention? Seconds, seconds, right? So your picture has to be spot on. Your first opening line has got to hook them in, right? Remember the trick I taught you guys? Go to Pinterest, find a caption line, 
make that your running statement in the beginning. It'll give you something powerful and then you can write in the rest and then you can go back to Pinterest and do like the Oreo cookie effect. Pinterest quote, your stuff, Pinterest quote at the end. Does that make sense? Hook, line, sinker, right? That's what you want. You need to grab their attention. That's why when I tell you guys to really focus and play with the lighting, play with your free light, which is the sun, make sure that lighting is spot because you've got to grab them. You've got to grab them with your picture, okay? So get, get fun with them. Go have fun with your pictures one day with your kids outside and play with the sun. Play with it. That's your free light right there. You don't even have to worry about payment, all right? So, all right, let's go around the room really quickly because some of these are going to, let's do some universal things. And then you guys can go and take the personal and finish that up tonight or throughout the week. <clears throat> what are some things that you genuinely love about coaching? Who wants to start? So we can write some of these universal things down. All right, Cassandra, go. What I love about coaching is it helps me stay consistent. I haven't really been, I've been struggling still with food because of the emotional part. Yeah. But the physical part, it, it keeps me, because I'm not just working out for me. I'm working out for my followers. I'm working out for potential, you know, people that are going to want to coach with me. And if they don't see me doing it, then they're not, they're obviously not going to want me to coach with them. Absolutely. And I, do it and I, I love inspiring people. I love it. And in turn, are you not inspiring yourself? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So of course. here we go. Write that down, you guys. It keeps me consistent. And then you can web off of that. Okay. Why does it keep you consistent? Think of that later. Let's keep moving on. But remember, web off of that. Why does it keep you consistent? Okay. Like she just said. It helps my business. It helps me for my goals for my family. It's keeping me, it's giving me structure, right? Those are the, you gotta, you gotta keep thinking. Let's keep the floods going. What else? Go. Anybody? What does coach uh, Danielle? Um, I love the relationships that I'm reconnecting with. Yes. And the new friendships I'm forming. Okay. Yeah. So let's write that down, you guys. Coaching is giving me back old friendships and creating new friendships. Write that down, that's very good. Also too, let's add on to that, let's, let's web off of that one really quickly, you guys. Coaching is allowing me to find my tribe of people who get who I am and I get who they am, okay? That's another branch off of coaching, all right? Can you repeat that, please? Danielle, can you repeat that again, babe? Um, your part or mine? The, so I said that coaching, the, what I like about coaching is the relationships that I'm building yeah. and are reconnecting with. Yeah. And I like that you're forming your tribe of people who get you because of the relationships you're forming. So, exactly. Yeah. And in turn, so then if you web off of that, you are finding your tribe. You want to find your tribe. You can't talk to somebody again who doesn't like to horseback ride and you like to horseback ride. You don't jive. Remember how, you remember how in high school you used to try to be friends with people and you're like, what the hell am I doing? I don't even give a shit about them. You don't have to do that with coaching. You can actually like be friends with who you want. It's cool. It's awesome. Right? So think about it like that. Um, something that coaching has given me has given me an opportunity to take, and Amanda and I kind of hit on this today in the car, it's taken everything that used to be a survival mechanism in my childhood is now not serving me in my adulthood, and it's actually creating anxiety. Like, for instance, like just reaching out and saying hello to somebody, I would never have done that when I was a kid because I wasn't good enough or I wasn't smart enough and they were better than me. So I would, I, I would introvert and believe it or not, you guys, FYI, most of the top leaders like Melanie Mitchell will fully admit she's an introvert. She doesn't like getting in front of the camera. She doesn't like talking to people. She loves being behind her computer, but yet she's a self-made millionaire. So do not think because if you're an introvert, you cannot do this. In fact, it's the breeding ground for it, right? So you get to, what I love about coaching is I get to take everything that was my survival mechanisms as a child, address them, 
purposely share people what I'm doing and I'm unwiring all the tools that I needed as a child because I don't need them anymore because that's what's setting me free today. So I get to set myself free from things that held me back in the past. That's another reason why I like coaching so much. So if that agrees with you and that resonates with you, write that down. Don't feel like you can't write it down because I said it, write it down. Um, what are some other things? Because I think this is where we have, we have our hard time in posting, you guys. Some of us are afraid to post about that coaching opportunity. I want to bash that tonight because there's no reason to be afraid. When people ask me now, they'll go, oh my God, you look so great. What are you doing? I coach. You need to coach. No, I couldn't coach. Why not? It changed my life. It could change yours. Say it. Mean it. It will set you free. This is how we build our tribe. We build our brand. We build what we want. Remember we talked about last week, you guys, we talked about how we want bank accounts for our kids and how we want these extra little things here and there. I'm going for it. And all of us are here tonight because that means we're all going for it. All right. So we've got to stay focused. What am I doing? I'm a coach. Dude, you should try it. What business, you guys, gives you a 30-day opportunity to own your own business? At a risk-free opportunity. Tell them that, right? The business startup fee is $180. That's it. And you get it back if you don't want to do it. It's awesome, all right? What are some other reasons coaching has changed your life, you guys? Just Let's just keep spitting them out. We don't have to go in order. Let's just talk. It's making me realize um, how far I've come since I started. Okay, so growth. It's teaching me how to grow. That's, that's everybody right there. That's a, down, that's, a, that's a hands down right there. It's teaching me how to grow. Um, for me, it's teaching me to be the better version for my kids. And even if you don't have kids right now, you guys, you're setting yourself up to give your kids the best version of you. Do you remember how we talked about, if you haven't could tell, I took Energize before I did this call. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I'm like, <laughs> but, um, right. I just saw that. I'm like, she drank Energize right now. <laughs> it's like crack. I love great. this stuff. I love, I love this stuff. I don't even care. I'll go do laundry right now when I'm done. <laughs> but um okay so something else too is this this is what coaching has given me i used to live my life as a fraud meaning i would say one thing and i was a complete bser because that's what i really wanted you know like oh i always do this and i always do that of course i do that no I was being a fraud parent, a fraud adult, and now I'm not a fraud. I don't wanna be a fraud parent anymore. Like if I tell my kids, you need to eat your fruits and vegetables and you need to exercise and go run around and play, and then I'm sitting there smoking and drinking like I was five years ago, I'm a fraud, mm -hmm, a fraud, a liar, and they, they, that's not what they need to be raised. They need a present, honest, organic, honest. real person. Coaching is teaching me to be my most organic self. Write that down if you want to. It doesn't matter. Write it down. Write down however that version is for you. Um, keep spinning them out, you guys. We're on a real good roll here because this is a lot. We need to write down as much as we can. I was thinking what you said, being honest. Yeah. Being honest, being real. That's being my word. I love it. <laughs> I'm setting a good example for the kids. That's huge for me. It's a huge example. And, and it's, it's important too, because if we're not doing that, I don't know. We are, we're frauds. And now. Coaching for me. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 go, go, go. I was going to say coaching for me is breaking the old family habit. For me, you know, because yeah. I was never taught how to eat. I was never taught how to take care of myself. And I want to teach my kids that. I absolutely do. Like, okay, so bad. So that's another I was so scared having kids that they were going to be huge and fat. Like, that was, like, my fear because yeah. that's how I ended up. Yeah. So, I'm like, this has taught me to not be so overwhelming about it. Do not it only that, bit. though, too. You guys, this is, a, this is another thing, too. And, and this is a spinoff of Cassandra tonight. Coaching has given us the ability to get off the train of what our parents have taught us. 
okay? My mom, and, 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 and it, it's not bad what our parents did. We can't fault them, okay? Because they learned from their parents, right? But guess what? Everybody has the ability to get off the train and go a different destination. That's a good breeding ground right there for coaching. Coaching has taught me to ride my own train. Coaching has taught me to get off the train that I was that I had been on for 38 years, and I'm on a new train. And the new train is you spin off of that. Okay. Um, what else, you guys? This is good stuff, you guys. I Coaching hope right has now. given me reasons to persevere through the struggles. Yes, absolutely. So what it's what she's also saying too is coaching is allowing her to be not as afraid to look at the pain because we all know that that's where we grow. Okay? So it is allowing you to look at doors that you have closed off and you're allowing to open the door for your heart to see and your mind and your body to heal. So think about these things when you're co when you're typing these coaching opportunities out or even breadcrumbing it, you know? Um, that's really good because that's really a big thing to you guys. It's mindset. It is, it is teaching us to have a better mindset and being more aware. Again, Amanda and I had this call today and I said, you know, it's amazing that this, uh, this opportunity that we've had or that we have right now is letting us see what we need to let go of. It's letting us see what we have to let go of in order to be better, in order to be great, in order to be what we were designed to be. That person in the mirror every day is counting on us. Like the person you look, when, when you're brushing your teeth, it's like, oh my God, you need me to be better. You need me. You're pointing at yourself. You're finally able to say that you are worthy. That's another great thing for coaching. It's made me feel as if I'm worthy, right? I think we can all say that tonight. Um, it's given us all structure. We get up every day, we work our containers, we work our programs, we follow our challenge groups, we create structure in our lives. Um, coaching has also given me the ability to realize that if I don't have a schedule, then a lot of things get off track, right? So scheduling is another thing that's good about coaching. It gives you, it makes you realize what your priorities are in your life and you stay focused on your priorities, especially a lot of people can get off track with their priorities. This, even though sometimes we may get off track, we know how to get back on faster. It's another good thing about coaching. What else, you guys? Coaching Everybody. makes me look at things on the bright side. Mm -hmm. So it's training our minds to think more in a positive wellness, encouraging way to our own selves. So if we see a negative, we are able, because of our personal development, there's that side note over there, you guys, because of my personal development, because of what coaching has taught me, it's taught me to see my negatives and turn them into my positives. These are all true. Okay, so this list is a legit list, you guys. There's no BSing about it. When you talk about this in your, in your breadcrumbing, you're doing real stuff tonight and in months to come. Remember, you make this list, now you can recycle it. You now have, and you can spin off of it later. All right, what else? So I used to be so insecure uh -huh. about everything about myself. And now I've grown to like love my posts and love putting myself out there in my sports bra or I would never have done that before. So, so you definitely. are gaining confidence, confidence. because of yeah. coaching. You are, and you're, and you're publicly showing every color of who you are. So yeah. now see how the words I'm using you guys, I'm getting more, creative with the wording so think of it like i'm i'm allowing all the colors of my rainbow to be shown to the world because people want that people want what you're working your butt off for right now and they don't know how to do it so when they see you posting every day people if you want to if you want a gut check you keep posting consistently and you're going to get people saying like 
please keep posting your inspire me. Has anybody gotten a, a comment yet saying you're inspiring me? Okay. What does that tell you? Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. The well is pumping. Keep pumping that bad boy, you guys. We're all going to kick butt soon. It's coming. It's coming. I can feel it. It's just crazy. Um, but if you're doing that and people have told you already, then you're doing something right. You're on the right track, okay? Don't lose hope with these things. Um, what else? Anybody? For me, it's made me turn my tragedy, my worst nightmare, into my greatest triumph. So I have taken something that literally shattered me into a bazillion pieces. And I don't know if you could ever glue back together shattered glass. It's virtually impossible, but I found it to be possible. So I give people for me the hope of when your whole world has gone to kaput and you lost the greatest love of your life, you can put it all back together again. And I did not put a time limit on it. So that's another thing that coaching has taught me to not put a time limit on my well being and my happiness, right? Don't you guys realize the moment we put a time limit on things, we create stress, we create unhappiness, we create just pressure. Coaching has slowly been teaching me to let go and just be okay with the moment, right? It's funny, my God, Amanda, so many things we're talking about tonight from our call. We were talking about two on our call. Amanda was saying, I was like, you know, why is it that I, we can't be okay with right now? Like right this moment, like we want to be here, but we're never okay with right here, right? It's teaching us to be happy with our here. That's another thing, okay? It's teaching me to be okay. I may not be there yet, and you can even say that in a post, but I'm teaching myself to be happy in my present moment because I'm important. Because I have finally discovered I'm important. Um, her Oh, shoot. Amanda's phone's going to die. She's got to bail. All right. This will be recorded, honey. Don't worry about it. Love you. We'll record it. Um, so, you guys, what else is super de duper important about coaching for you guys. What has something, I mean, there's so many significant pieces here, which is amazing. So keep going with these ideas, keep rolling with them. Um, for me, I can tell you um, it's given me hope. And these are just basics here. It's given me hope. It's given me clarity. It's given me a reason to really focus on what is the most important things in my life and to let go of all the bullshit that I've hold on, held on to that I don't need to even worry about. Um, it makes me feel a lot lighter when I walk around mentally. Um, it gives me the ability that I have a family outside of my own that genuinely gets who I am and we all get each other, and I don't ever feel judged. I feel like I'm on an even playing field, and there's nobody who's better or worse. We're all the same. That's Those are all coaching things, you guys. Um, let's talk about the money. Coaching has given us find a little bit of financial freedom. Some people are just starting to see the sparks of that, which is amazing, you know? Like eventually, and you can start talk when your money starts to grow, talk about what it's been doing for you for the week. I get paid weekly. I get paid extra for my family to knock down a debt, to have 20 bucks for gas. Like those are big things, you guys, and don't think they're small because they're big for a lot of people. There's a lot of people that would love an extra $20. A lot of people. And guess what? You can get an extra 20 bucks or an extra 500 bucks by literally putting yourself out there because you're just taking care of yourself. That's all you're doing and you're inspiring somebody. So you have to tell people, you know, and then eventually because of coaching has given me visions. Who here has a vision board? Who here thinks of their visions and talks about their visions and dreams about their visions? You know, it's giving us hope. 
that we can have these things that we've put so far off. It's given us a reason to actually go for things that maybe would have, would have, would have retracted upon. These are the gifts of coaching. And the greatest gift of all is that you get to live your life out loud. It's the greatest gift of all because you signed up for a challenge pack that you probably came into to lose weight or just because you were just tired or something, something health wise, right? But now we know it's something more. Now we know how invested we are and why we want, I want financial freedom. I want to be home with my kids. Like, I want to be that really present mom. So I got to do what I got to do. You know, even saying that I get emotional about it. So there's lots of things that this has done for all of us. So hopefully those things I kind of touched upon you, you guys can keep rolling off of that later, but hopefully this has given you a little bit of spark to make this list, keep adding to your list. And then you have things to write about. The thing you need to get crafty upon is making sure your picture corresponds with your message. So you've got to learn to be a storyteller. Use descriptive words, right? Don't forget, you guys, if you have not written your bio, get it done. Oh, my goodness. It's the best thing you can do for your business. If you need to go to mine, go click on it, go read it, because it's very, I use very descriptive words. So go there and get your, your breeding ground for the ideas, because here's what happens. When you have somebody who's a cold person, they don't really know you, they're new to your Facebook page, invite them to stalk you. Because like, they're going to stalk you anyways. They want to figure out who Sharona is, who Sydney is, who Danielle is. They want to know who you are. And I always tell people, please feel free to stalk me. And in fact, scroll up to the top of my page and click my cover photo and you can totally read my bio. You can read who I am. This is what I say. You can read who I am, what I'm all about, and then you can kind of put the puzzle pieces together of really why my page is so near and dear to my heart. They need to know who you are. You need to bust through that wall so fast because right now their walls are up and they're going to say no to everything. But if you tell your story, your story, and be really, and find somebody who's a good editor. I had to find my mom because she's really good at like the commas and all that stuff. It took me about two weeks to do it. So I didn't rush through this, but I, t I invite people to do that. And sometimes too, you guys, when you don't feel like you, you don't have a post to do, get a pretty picture of yourself. And every once in a while you want to say, Hey, you guys, if there's anybody new to my page, I would love for you to go click my cover photo right now and read upon my bio. Let them, invite them in, invite them to your story. They want to know who you are. They are so damn curious that it is killing them to figure you out. But guess what you get to do first? You get to figure yourself out first and then post it. It's so cool. Like, it's so cool. You get to figure out you and post that and share it with somebody else. So invite them to stalk you. I welcome you to stalk me. Go for it. I'm an open book. Ask me what you want. Because you know what else, too? It sets you free. And you're going to want to share more because you've already put that first step out there. So right then and there, that bio, it works very good. Because I've had people come up to me and go, oh, my God, I'm so glad you invited me to read your bio because I thought you were a bitch. And I was like, wow. And I was like, that's awesome. And I was like, that's so cool because, again, what do we talk about, you guys? People will perceive us in a certain light based on a picture or what they're thinking. They don't know us. Make them know you. Make them know you. All the colorful rainbow pieces of who you are. So go to mine to read it. And then seriously, take time. Do not rush that. Don't rush that. It's very important. Um, also to you guys, if you have not been playing with Instagram stories, that is where it's at right now. I know Cassandra's been playing on Insta stories. Um, Danielle, I've seen played on Insta stories. So if you guys can hop on that train, get on Insta stories. Um, hype type, H-Y-P, 
E, hype type, is one you want to download. You can create little videos like I've done on my Insta stories. Um, and I looked up 20 motivational songs because motivational songs can always bring people in and make them feel a little bit more. So go on to Google and type in motivational songs of 2018 and use those songs. Um, a lot of them right now are um, by uh, Rachel Platten, Fight Song, Haley Steinfield, Love Myself, Jordan Smith, Stand in the Light, um, Imagine Dragons on Top of the World, um, One Republic, Good Life. I mean, these are the songs, like, like anything Kelly Clarkson, um, what else? Uh, Justin Bieber, Life is Worth Living, Philip Phillips Home, um, Andrea Day, Rise Up. So it's like, Think of these things because what you're trying to do is what? Inspire, right? So get creative with the, the, the music too because doesn't music bring you in when you're in a concert? Like when you hear like a really good song and you're just like, you just got touched. Touch them. Now you cannot put that on your Facebook. They'll bust you off. So you can only use it on your Instagram. You Facebook is weird. Like I had a background song and they thought I was like whatever and they shut me down for a day. So do not put this on your Facebook, only use it on your Instagram stories. You can post it on your Instagram as long as like, if the song is their original song, it won't get taken off, okay? So, but just really use it for your Insta stories. Do use hype type, tell a story, tell a story. You can tell stories through your songs. Um, the other thing too is when you are also on, um, Insta stories, make a list of hashtags and put them in your story. Make a list of your hashtags, go back the next day and see which ones gave you a lot of volume. Those are the ones you need to use. You have to remember now, you are a business woman. Be business smart. Don't just go through the motions to check things off the list. Be smart about it. Okay, now I have to go back and see. How much volume did that get? All right, ah, that didn't do so good. I'll, I'll give it another week, see how it does. All right, that was a flop, I'm out. Like, you keep playing the field. So figure out your hashtags, play with Insta stories for sure, do your um, bio. Now, if all of this is giving you anxiety, just make this list, you guys, and do it when you can. This is not a, I have to do this tonight after the call. This is a, these are my things to do when I can so I can make a good business. And I'm going to do it because I scheduled my stuff. Don't go forgetting about the scheduling. You have to schedule your business. Otherwise, we get, sometimes we get so excited that we want to do it all right now. But doing it all right now does not make you effective. Doing it all, you have to rest before you run. So rest, get clarity, focus on make the to-do list. And then take one away and work on that one till it's done. Then cross it off. Do another one. Cross it off. Don't rush something that's going to set your family free. This is something that you do not take lightly. You take seriously. And you just know that every day, little by little, you're going to be okay. But do the motions. If you're not doing a little a night, it can be two minutes worthy. Just do something. Pump your well or your well will not pump for you. Just remember that. That's all you have to do. Be consistent and being consistent. That's it. Don't stress about anything. If you feel like you're being stressed, slow your pony down and say, all right, I'm getting, getting really excited and I got to reel it back in and I need to make my to-do list. Remember, you guys, remember this list that I made too? my little white eraser board here, whatever I don't get done, it goes to the next day. I don't care. As long as I did the steps that I know move my business forward, which are inviting and follow-ups really and posting, I've done my job to move my business forward and work on myself. If these other little things I haven't gotten done, move them, move them, move them, relax. Relax, relax. Does that make sense? Yeah, 
Yes. Was this yeah. call helpful for you guys tonight? Did this give you some clarity? Did this give you some energy? Did this make you feel as if we got the motorboat going? Because that's really, I want to always do a gut check with you guys, make sure we're getting pumped up, but we're also getting clear about the vision too. Another thing before I let you guys go is make sure when you're doing the branding part, we'll get into more of that next Thursday, but start using the same filters be consistent about the same filters you use. Figure out what filters you like, what fonts you like, what colors you like, and stay consistent with those. Those are important. That's all part of your branding. Like people are going to know, oh, that's, she's always got that kind of filter. That's, oh, that's Stacy's filter, you know, or that's Stacy's face that she always makes. Like that's my original face, you know, or whatever it is, you know, but be you. Be authentically you. Do not try to be me. Do not try to be Danielle. Do not try to be anybody but you. Because if you're trying to be somebody else, that's another habit. And a great thing about coaching is you've probably been doing that your whole life. You've probably been looking to the left to see what they're doing. And now you get to look straight forward. So that's another great thing about coaching. You don't have to look for your direction. They're looking at me now. Girlfriend, they're going to be looking at me now. Hey, now, nah, that's all I'm going to say. And I feel like I'm on crack cocaine right now. Can I just tell you? Oh, my God. I'm like, woo, let's go. Um, but, yeah, so think about your songs. Do you guys feel like we have a minute left? Do you feel like you're finding rhythm? Do you feel like you're finding rhythm with scheduling your week reflection on Sundays? Do that. If you haven't done that, get on that because that's going to set you up for rhythm. Once you have your rhythm, you make better decisions and you're not freaking out all the time. More importantly, before I let you guys go, please get your stuff together for your goals for the next 80 days. This is me being your coach right now for the last minute and 15 seconds. Get your stuff ready for Team Epic Shakers. Get your calendars printed. Get your books ordered. Represent what coaching is about. Do not be a fraud coach. Be an authentic coach because it's only going to make you look fabulous at the end of 80 days. So we have to be the forefront. If we're the only people posting every day, then that's it. We will not let ourselves down and we're not letting Team Epic Shakers down because we are setting the tone. And I need you guys to keep going. I have to feed off of you. I need you and I think you guys need me. We need to do it together. So we have to stay committed. Sure. Take care of yourselves, you guys. You are number one first. Do not forget this in your business. Always you. This is me as your coach, not as your team captain. Take care of yourself. Get your butts into this group and do what you need to do to be healthy and happy. You cannot be a good coach unless you do this. Promise me that tonight. All right? And get some sleep. Okay? Please. I'm kid free all weekend. I'll be sleeping a lot. <laughs> Shit. I'm so jealous. All right, guys. I love you. Have a